Coach Kim, seasoned personal trainer, ready to give you a great 20 minute core workout. So this is for mature adults and beginners. Grab your mat, grab your towel, put a big smile on your face and let's get ready to firm it up. All right, everybody, you've got your, your yoga mat or perhaps you have your beach towel. So a nice firm surface on the ground. We're gonna start with uh, on your back. So I'd like you to go ahead, get comfy on your back. I'd like you to have your knees bent. Your feet are gonna be flat. Kind of gently go back on that floor. And I'd like your head to relax. So we're gonna start with the lower tummy. Weak is part of the abs. This is called a reverse crunch. And I'm gonna show you some options. So in case some of these maybe aggravate your lower back or things like that. But I'd like your hands by your side with your palms down. We're gonna perform 10 reps of each exercise. So I'd like you to, palms down, this is called a reverse crunch. You're gonna lift up both those knees. I want you to pull the knees in, hold for one to two seconds, and then we're gonna come back down nice and slow. So keeping those knees bent does help keep, protect that lower back, come back up and then back down. Now I'm holding my head up, but I want you to relax and hold that head down. So I'll do all the work up here on the neck. I just wanna make sure you're doing that right and you hear me correctly. Come back down. Now, if let's say your lower back hurts you, you're welcome to do just one knee at a time. This would be a nice option right here. So that would be people that maybe have some lower back pain with this exercise, but otherwise both knees up, hold, come back down, beautiful. So again, a reverse crunch, targeting those lower abs, and we're gonna shoot for four more. So let's keep going. You've got four, come back up, beautiful. Three, we're gonna tighten up those abs. Whew, are you feeling this? And that's two, we're just warming up. We've got one more, up, 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 and then come down slow. Let's go ahead and put those feet, um, they're about hip width apart. We're gonna drop the knees to the side, just a gentle drop. And it's a good thing to stretch that lower back whenever we train those abs and come down to the side. We're gonna get one more and to the side. Beautiful. Now, chin off the chest. I want your hands behind your head. I don't want you to clasp your fingers. Kind of have them like this behind your head. And I don't want elbows forward. So have the elbows can be flat or slightly forward. The chin is off the chest. So I say, imagine you have like a tennis ball kind of tucked underneath that chin there. I want you to crunch up. You're supporting your neck and come back down. What I don't want to see is this motion right here. You're just waiting for a bad neck with that. So eyes to the ceiling, support the neck with those hands and come back down. We're gonna perform 10 of these. You're crunching up and back down. Now make sure you breathe out as you come up. So that's five, back down. Breathe out as you come up. This works the upper abs, six. The first exercise worked the lower. This works the upper. I promise not to neglect any of your core today. And lift, eight. And do you know laughing works your abs? Make sure you laugh a lot. Watch funny movies and hang out with funny people. You'll work those abs even more. And here is 10, and then come all the way down. Beautiful, hug those knees to chest. You can separate the hands and just give it a little hug. Now we've done reverse crunch. We've done the forward crunch. Now we're gonna do a little tuck crunch. So we're gonna put it together. Just watch me here. Hands behind your head in the same position, knees bent. But this time, as you crunch, pull both knees up, eyes to the ceiling, and come back down. So guess what we're getting now? Your upper and lower abs. Breathe, that's two. Little tuck crunch here, breathe out. Now remember, chin off your chest. Three, remember to breathe and think about the core. Now this is a doozy, it's a tough one. Four, but you've got this. Eyes to the ceiling. You can stop if you feel like it's too much. Five, I'm doing a set of 10 here. And breathe out, lift, six. Excellent job, keep going. I almost call this the happy hour crunch. Seven, I call it two for one, because you're getting lower and upper abs. That's eight, two more. Breathe out as you come up. That's nine, let's get another one. Up, 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 and 10. Good, let's go back to those knee drops again. Drop the knees to the side, just a gentle drop, not a flop. Gentle, gentle. And one more to the side. Beautiful. How are you feeling here? Everybody feeling pretty good? Put those feet up tabletop. Your back is nice and flat. Now we're gonna do this. When I say tabletop, I don't want any floppy calves. So hold that up, your neck is relaxed. I want you to just put your hands by your side. Extend that left leg out straight, back flat, 
and then come back up. Alternate, go to the other side, bring it out, bring it up. Do you notice how my feet are flexed? Be mindful of keeping the back flat and come back up. There you go, down and up. Beautiful, now again, we're working that core. You also get a little bonus of working the legs and the hip flexors a little bit, six. Keep the back flat, I'm gonna keep reminding you. Seven, oh, keep going. I'm not a perfect counter, so we're just kind of estimating here. Eight, but I know I'm feeling it, so are you. Nine, don't let those calves sag, one more. And 10, good, put those feet down right foot on top of the left and just do a nice little gentle stretch to the side and then go again to the other side shoulder blades on the ground and then crisscross the other way we're just giving that back a little stretch and bring it to the side you're doing a great job now i'm going to make this a little bit more complicated you've got this so let's get in that same position same exercise but what i'm going to have you do is put both palms up Palms up. As one leg goes back, bring both arms behind you. Biceps to the ears. Come back up. Oh, you're feeling this a little bit more, aren't you? That's two. So same exercise, but I'm integrating some arm movements in here. Three, this is making it a little more challenging. Keep going. And that's four. Keep that back flat. Back flat. Five. I keep reminding you because it's so uh, easy. Six, to think about other things or get distracted seven but we're thinking about the abs and the core and how good it feels to be nice and tight eight and remember so much has to do with proper nutrition too nine which means fruits and veggies and ten beautiful hug those knees to chest hug 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 all right we're going to transition to doing what's called the bird dog this is one of my favorite exercises for the lower back as a matter of fact i call it brussels sprouts for your lower back so I'd like your knees placed underneath your hips, your hands underneath your shoulders. Let's keep the head in line with your body. So remember, never a saggy back. Keep that back nice and flat. So are your hands under your shoulders? Are your knees under your hips? So get ready to take Brussels sprouts for your lower back. This is how healthy and wonderful it is. And I happen to love Brussels sprouts. So take your left hand with your thumb up. Extend the right leg out. Beautiful. Make sure that your limbs are parallel to the ground. Hold that for about two to three seconds and then come back down. Very nice. Extend and go the other way. Now, if some of you feel like you're floundering a little too much, maybe you have an exercise ball at home that you can tuck underneath you to give you a little bit more support. Come all the way up, up, up again. If you have knee issues, maybe you wanna put some extra padding underneath your knees, come back down. And you can also do this on your belly as well, which I'll be able to show you in just a minute. It's a little bit more advanced on your belly, but some people can't put the pressure on their knees all the way up. And this is gonna help strengthen the lower back. 80% of people have issues with their lower back at some point in their life. So let's, you know, let's make it stronger so you don't have issues. And if you do happen to have issues, well, guess what? We're gonna make it stronger. So you, maybe it gets better. We're gonna get one more all the way out. Beautiful. Now, if you wanna get on your belly, this would be another way to do it. Just like this, opposite arm opposite leg that's for those that might have some knee issues it's a little bit more advanced though a little bit tougher in my opinion so let's end with what's called a child's pose put those knees wide feet together palms forward sit back and stretch that lower back there we go beautiful hold the stretch hold 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 come back up and as a matter of fact you could go on your own right now and do another two sets of the bird dog. That would be great. So a total of three sets of 10. Come all the way up, hands under the shoulders, and it's just a little tuck your chin like a mad cat. Make it nice and flat. Let's do one more. All the way up like a mad cat. Make it flat. All right, while in a seated position, have your bumper on your towel or your mat with your knees bent. Your heels are on the ground. I want you to put both hands together. Now, if you have back pain, I want you to sit up more. But if you do have some strength and you wanna make this a little bit more challenging, lean back. I know some people like to put their feet up, but I prefer you to keep those feet down. Put your palms in front of you. You're gonna do what's called a seated twist. Take that right hand, and I want your head to follow and lean to the right. And then bring it back up to greet your other hand and then alternate. That's two. We're gonna do a total of 10 if your back hurts. Remember, sit up. Three, do not slouch. And four, we're working those sides. And five, beautiful job. Let the head follow. 
six, you've got this, seven, and eight. Keep going. We're going to start with one set, nine. You could work up to doing two sets, maybe even doing three sets of ten. So we just completed one set. Little stretch I'd like to do is take your hands on the outside of your knees, pull your body down, and you feel a nice stretch in that lower and mid back, and hold that for a few seconds. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and get on your back. So I'd like you to take your legs to the side. I'm kind of in the mood for the sides right now. Chin off the chest, hands behind. Remember, don't connect your fingers. I want them nice and separate. Your elbows are not forward and they're not completely flat. They can be slightly forward and you're gonna crunch up. This is called a legs to the side crunch. So we're working those obliques and your upper abs. My eyes are fixed on that ceiling. Three, I'm supporting my neck. My legs are just gently to the side, four. And remember, I don't wanna see this. Five, I want the chin off the chest, and that's six. And remember to breathe as you crunch up. Seven, breathe out your mouth as you come up. Eight, two more. Up, nine, you've got one more, and 10. Excellent job, everybody. Turn your legs to the other side. Remember, chin off the chest, you're not turning this way. My eyes are facing to the ceiling, so. Pretend there's something really special important to you sitting up there. You're gonna crunch up, you're gonna come back down. You're gonna crunch up, chin off the chest. Oh, support the neck. Three, how are you doing over there? Four, remember, keep laughing. Laughing works your abs. Five, are you feeling this? And six, keep going. You're doing a great job, everybody. Seven, working the sides and the upper. That's eight, a couple more nine, another one, and 10. Excellent, always good to stretch that lower back. So pull both knees into chest. With this one, connect your fingers on top, pull the knees in, ah, doesn't your back love you for this? Hold that stretch, that's five, four, you're doing a great job, three, two, one. Now the next one, feet up in the air. We're doing a little toe reach. So you're gonna reach for the toes. Now those that might have neck issues or you need a little support, put one hand behind your head and you're welcome to do it this way, but you're gonna reach up, reach up. If your neck doesn't bother you, you can do it this way. And some people do prefer to put both hands behind for the extra neck support and I'm fine with that. But reach for the toes. We've got eight more. That's seven, eyes to the ceiling, six, hell's a tummy feeling. Five, I'm smiling because I know you feel it. Let's get three more. That's three, that's two, and that's one. Drop those knees down, hug the knees to chest, and give your neck a little stretch. Look to one side, and gently look to the other side. Beautiful job, everybody. You're doing a super job. We're gonna do this again. I want the feet up in the air. This time, let's do the neck support. Let's put those hands behind you, chin off the chest, crunch forward, come back down. Oh, and if you struggle holding those feet up, you can always put the feet in what's called tabletop position right up here as well. So again, you do what works for you. Feet up, keep going. Let's get five more, that's five. And that's four. Can you reach three, couple more, two, and one. Good. Let's go ahead and flip over one more time. We're gonna get on that stomach Ah, we're gonna do a little stretch for your abs. So put your hands down, reach up, relax. Yes, feel that stretch of the tummy. And again, if that's too intense, you can always do it this way right here. Oh, and this is a lot more gentle if this works better for you, but you feel that stretch that back a little bit. Hold, hold, hold. And let's go ahead and get in this position where your knees are under the hips, hands under the shoulders, stretch like a mad cat. Lift your head and drop your hips. Let's get one more all the way up. You could do this several times a day. This stretch right here is wonderful, beautiful. So planks is a very popular exercise. So we're gonna be practicing some planks, some, some do's and don'ts with planks. So on the knees is gonna be um, a nice option for people that going off the knees is a little bit too challenging. So if you're new to planks, Let's please start on the forearms. Notice my hands are apart, my palms are up. I'm not, I'm not doing this position right here. I'm separate and I'm on the knees. So we're eventually gonna work up. I'd love you to be able to start with 10 seconds and then gradually as you get stronger, add five seconds to it to where maybe you can hold a plank for a whole minute. That would be great. So up on the toes would be the harder version. So everybody, let's go up on those toes for 10 seconds. If it's too intense, drop to the knees and I'm perfectly fine with that. 
Ready? Here we go. That's 10, 9, 8, 7. Pull the belly button into spine. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and drop to the knees. Sit your butt back. Butt back. All the way back. Now, how was that? Did that feel pretty amazing? Because we're going to do it again. Ah, this time, oh, we're going to do a plank, but I'm going to get a little jazzy with you. As a matter of fact, we're going to do what's called a plank with an alternating leg lift. So please pay attention if you don't mind. Off the knees is harder. On the knees is easier. Choose what works for you. So if it's off the knees, this is what it looks like right here. If it's on the knees, right here. So let's go ahead and choose what works for you. We're going to do 10 of them right now. Here we go. That's 10. Just a little lift. Nine. Tummy tight. Eight. Think happy thoughts. Seven. Six. Five. You're not sagging your back, are you? Four. Three, two more, two, headline with the body, one, and child's pose. Sit your butt back, knees wide, tuck your chin. Always feels really nice to stretch that back. Awesome. Now drop your hips, lift your head. Good. Stretch that back, relax your feet, lift your head. Feel that stretch your tummy, and then come all the way back again. Very nice. And let's do one more, bringing it forward. Good. Nice stretch for the back as well. Excellent. So we're going to get on our side to do a side plank. I want your arm at a 90 degree. That elbow is right underneath your shoulder. Put your knee directly underneath the other leg. I want you to lift yourself up, up. You're doing what's called a side plank. And those of you that are a bit feisty, you're welcome to stack those feet. And this would be the harder version. Most of us will probably do it with our knee, not out here. Remember, it's directly under the other leg. I'd like you to lift up, and we're going to hold that for 10 seconds. Ready? You can do this. You want to feel kind of sexy and good to work that shoulder, lift the arm up. That's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. You want to lift it up? 5, 4, 3, 2, and rest. Good. We're going to do that one more time. Wasn't that pretty amazing? All right, keep that arm underneath you. And if you have any shoulder pain, make sure you can either default back to the normal plank that we did earlier, or if you're trying to do it with both feet stacked, make sure that knee is down. Lift. Awesome. So I want you to go ahead and lift the arm up. Let's make this more dynamic and bring it down. Lift up. That's two and three. Let's do a total of ten. Four. Are you holding the hips? Don't let it sag. Hold it up. Five and six. Keep going seven and eight. You're saying, Coach Kim, you're not fast enough. Nine, you drop whenever you have to. Ten. Let's flip to the other side. Beautiful job. So this is working the sides. So again, stack those feet, put that knee directly underneath the other one, arms at a 90 degree, hold it up. Ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Make it get feisty. Three, two, and drop. So you're going to feel it all through this area of your obliques. One more set. You've got this. No stinking thinking. Lift yourself up and let's lift. Ten. This is it. Nine. Hang in there. Eight. Seven. You can do this. Six. Five. Four. You drop it anytime you need to. Three. You can work up to this. Two. And one. Beautiful. Excellent. How's that feeling? Pretty good? All right, let's do a little stretch. Just take your arm, look behind you, a nice little gentle stretch. And let's go to the other side, a little gentle spinal rotation. You did a great job with those planks. Planks aren't easy, but you keep practicing this every day. It's going to get a little bit easier. So you did a great job today with these planks. Excellent job on that core. And remember to have a diet of fruits and vegetables in conjunction with Doing a core workout will give you a nice flat abs. So remember to always check with your doctor before starting a program. And thank you all for joining Coach Kim today on your core workout. Hope to see you again soon.